We'll take a wee look at the team lineups for today's game. We'll start with the Hibs lineup. David Gray, the caretaker manager at the moment, making one change. Jordan Obita back in the starting lineup. Lewis Stevenson dropping to the bench as Hibs go with Jojo Wallacott, Chris Cadden, Rocky, Paul Hanlon, Jordan Obita, Joe Newell, Hector Triantis, Martin Boyle, Josh Campbell, Mizian Malida, and Dylan Venti. On the bench for Hibs, Murray Johnson, Dylan Levitt, Jake Doyle Hayes, Elithia Maenda, Luke Amos, Lewis Stevenson, Adam LaFondry, Jair, and Nathan Mariah Welsh. Hibs, we expect, will line up in the, the same sort of formation that uh, we've come to expect. Well, as we said, big lads have got a corner over on the far side. Great stop by Jojo Wallacott right down low yeah. at his near post. His new blade at Klein got the header on it, powering the header, headed downwards right to the bottom corner. Good stop by the Hibs keeper. Great ball in, loads of pace in it by Kelly. Looks as if he's just playing against May Leader and he's got off his man. Great leap at the far post. George with the goal kick. Newell now for Mizian. Nice one too. Joe Newell pushing forward. Nicely again into the path of Izzy and Venti wants it. It's not going to get there. Back out in the direction of Izzy and Triantis does well. New back for Triantis. Oh, Ooh, that was a good strike. That's the best bit of play. That's the best bit of play we've seen yeah. because my, my as soon as that ball was getting cleared and I could see he was off balance, he wasn't going to get much on it. I watched Triantis and he put us. He put a, a, a quick change of pace in just to you see here, pop it, get it back. Unlucky. Decent strike. The it's goalie not, is beaten, yeah, all ends up. It's a beautiful touch. It's little, a lovely little, layoff. Little deflection has yeah. just taken it wide. It's fair play to Joe Newell there because yeah. he's, uh, he's got a few uh, a few pounds and a few inches. <laughs> yeah, that was a mismatch. But that's again exactly, you know, that's your job as a centre mid. Campbell goes for the shooting opportunity. Oh, that one is uh, fizzes just wide of Shamal George's near post. Well, if his reaction is anything to go by, Cliff, this doesn't miss by much. He certainly didn't you know, look out of his here, feet yeah. and just thinks, I'm hitting it. He's good 30 yards out at le least Oof. when he hits it lovely. That's I think the goalie's probably got it got covered. It covered, yeah. It's just about a foot wide. It's, but, a, good, uh, it's a good hit, though. Decent strike. Certainly yeah. had Shamal George scrambling. And he managed to help it back to But this is better, you know, Hibs, Hibs have got to realise that they're, they're not in a rush. No, it, just, just, you know, make, make a few passes Patience. and actually get some rhythm, you know, and, and start tiring them out. You know, it, just pop that ball around and wait for them to lose their discipline. A beat up. I mean, that's Neil, brilliant here's football. Here's a chance, Neil with an opportunity. Left footed effort, Shamal George does well. He won't keep that one in play. Corner goes Hibs way. That was better from Hibs, as you said, Stuart. Joe Newell it was. Saw the shooting opportunity. Lovely little low. give and go, little layoff, lovely little touch there from Josh Campbell. Again, I mean, Livy do well. They kind of, they narrow so that they don't give you an awful lot of space. Yeah. I thought about taking it quickly, but Joe Newell gave him a glare. So leave it. This one long into the penalty area. And he climbs. And he get it cleared. Is he in with a shooting opportunity? It's deflected. And it ends up in the back of the Livy net. Well, it maybe needed that wee little bit of a break, Stuart, from his point of view. Melida, to be fair to him, was persistent bouncing awkwardly two or three times he somehow managed to keep it under control got a shot away it deflected off a Livy defender and it took it out of the reach of Shamal George in the Livy goal 48 minutes gone Livy nil Hibs one yeah he just picks a position just pulls off doesn't he and hopes that the ball will pop out and he's just patient and it sits up for him takes a swing I mean we're right behind it so we can actually see it takes a deflection and leaves the goalie with absolutely no chance but he's just he just wants to get it on his left peg and, and I think it's actually knotting him. It hit, hits yeah. his hits his leg. It's and, almost like it's hit his heel or something. Yeah, yeah. and there's and, and there's absolutely nothing that the goalie can do about it. Olivier with a throw and over on the far side. Looks like this one will be a long 
pitched one into the box. Nottingham it is over on the far side. Which is the edge of the six yard box. Rocky deals with it though. Three Levy players round about it. Newell clears at the edge of the area. It hits. Newplay and bounces back into his path. Newplay has it again. Plays it in early with the right foot. It's a decent delivery. Chance here. Levy have the equaliser. Fudu Wallacott is absolutely fuming. Hips man is down inside the six yard box. Anderson slotted the ball beyond Fudu Wallacott there are two players down inside the area yeah Nottingham's the one who's, who's taken a dull one it's actually a great ball in by Nuble and it's just one of those where no one actually gets the first contact corner comes in Head out by Josh Campbell again to Joe Newell. Oh, that wasn't a bad effort from Joe Newell. Certainly had Ian Wright flying to his right hand side. Yeah, he's little trying. little touch, touch back onto his left peg, out of his feet. Can't blame him for pulling the trigger from there. No, not at all. Well handled by the Levy keeper, though. Well, forward chance here for Livy. We have a second. Flags up for offside, though, is it? Nope. Yeah, flag is up for offside. I mean, they have to check it. It will be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anderson seemed to spring out of absolutely nowhere there again. He's well offside there, I think. Don't see. Yeah. Hammond looks like he's put the brakes on just in time. Good finish to be fair to him. It was, yeah. Controlled it well. Drew the goalkeeper, slotted it beyond him, but certainly looked like he started off from an offside position there. So all that remains is for David Munro to put this season out of his misery, which he does. Brings the game to an end. It finishes here. Tony Macaroni, Livingston one. Hibbs one. And in fairness, Stuart, it was a, a fairly uninspiring encounter.